Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a stainless steel braided uh, clutch line on a 2001 Mazda Miata. The stainless steel braided uh, hose replaces the rubber line that starts here and it goes all the way down to the attachment of the slave cylinder there. Uh, you're going to replace that little metal swirly piece as well as this rubber hose uh, with one piece of stainless steel line that's going to go from there down to there and uh, that's going to uh, make your uh, clutch bleeding a lot easier and also replace a rubber hose with a stainless steel braided one. Um, you can get these from a bunch of different websites. Mine is from Treasure Coast Miata. Um, they retail at about $40, $50, somewhere in that range, but I got mine for like 20 bucks. Uh, brand new in packaging from somebody who had it sitting around their garage. Um, you can see it's got a little fitting there and a fitting there and it fits right in the OEM spot. With the car up on uh, jacks, um, you want to take off the front wheel. If you don't have an impact gun, you probably want to do this uh, before you get the car up in the air. So, uh, with the car jacked up in the air, you'll be able to see where you're going to be working. Right in there. Um, that swirly hose. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to take off the uh, splash guard. I've got mine off right now. I don't think you do. I think the splash guard only covers the front. Um, but yeah, we're going to be working in there on that guy. Alright, so once you're in here, you're going to undo this 10 millimeter bolt right there. That's going to release your bracket for the uh, sort of pigtail loopy thing. Um, so you're going to take that bolt out. With that bolt removed, you'll have um, more play to be able to wiggle that thing around. Uh, next, you can go ahead and unbolt that line from where it attaches at the slave cylinder. Um, and then next we're going to unbolt it from where the hose attaches to the top of the soft line. So next we're going to undo the line that attaches to the um, slave cylinder, that bolt right there. It is a 10 millimeter. Um, you're going to want to use a wrench that's uh, meant for lines. Um, it's bigger on one end, a little bit slanted, and it's meant to go like around the fitting so you can turn it. Um, it's a 10 mil. I cannot find my wrench that is a 10 mil. Can't find any other boxed end 10 mils, so I'm using my oldest uh, wrench that I have here which is a 10 mil, and uh, hoping not to strip it, because you really don't want to strip these, they are a pain in the ass. My dad came along, around and uh, helped me find this. It was in the toolbox that I was looking in for five minutes. Sitting right there. Alright, so I have this bolt unscrewed. As you can see, the stuff is starting to leak out. Um, so you probably want to have a catch can ready, but then you can just pull that out and um, you're going to be replacing this whole line here. Um, now is a good time to inspect your clutch slave. Make sure that it's doing alright and add some more grease right there. It's a good time for that as well. Um, but yeah, now we're going to undo the top of the brake line. Be careful with uh, this brake fluid. It's very corrosive. It can damage paint and it's not good for your skin. For the part up top, you're just going to use a uh, flathead screwdriver, pop off this clip. With the clip removed, um, this will have a little bit of motion to it, and you will be able to unscrew this uh, bolt using the same method as you did down below. So with that unscrewed, you can pop that out, and then you can pull this hose out of there. And that end is going to match up to this end on your stainless and this end is going to thread into your uh, slave cylinder. Alright so there is a bracket that is a pain in the ass that's the connection right there. Um, they do sell stainless steel hoses that just replace this rubber line from here to that hard line there but uh, if there's any good reason to delete that whole thing it's this and the little pigtail thing um, that is a pain in the ass, but it's a, another little clip like this metal one, and then I'm hoping, I don't know where that bracket bolts to, but I'm hoping I can just pull this whole assembly up now that I've got this part loose. 
Um, I'm hoping I can just pull that whole thing up and then be able to get to that nut to undo it to split those two apart because this rubber hose will not fit through the um, this part of the bracket on that bracket down there. Uh, but if I can find where that bolts in, I'll let you all know and uh, hopefully you just remove the whole bracket and remove this entire line as one piece. So I finally got this part undone. Um, that's your rubber hose. That's what some of the lines will replace. And now I can pull out this metal hose that I bent all up. Ugh. It's hard to do this with one hand and film. There we go. Okay. Basically, this piece is going to be replaced by this piece. Um, they sell kits that just replace this rubber hose with a stainless hose, but if you can get rid of this hard line down there, it's a lot easier. So that's going to connect this fitting down to that hole in the slave cylinder. So the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to replace the uh, top line portion with this and uh, put the bracket back where it goes. Put the um, little clip back on this thing. So they sell these wrenches in kits and that's good because you will want to hold the back of the hose with the 17 while you turn that part with the 10 mil. So that's this part is in and I just got to put the little bracket back on there. So with that hose fed down from the top, you're going to put it uh, and screw it into the same fitting on your slave cylinder. It's worth noting that the connection right there is a 15 millimeter um, and your 15 wrench will not fit in that area. Um, because of the way that it uh, is flanged right there there's not enough room to slide the fitting up so you have to just use a regular 15 wrench on that fitting. So the next thing you're going to do is uh, bleed your clutch system. Um, you're going to start by opening up your clutch master reservoir and uh, I like to suck up all of this fluid with a paper towel or whatever just to get all the old dirty stuff out and you want to use brand new fluid that's never been opened because as soon as it's exposed to air, it starts to go bad. Looking down in there, and that, that's dark, that looks like barbecue sauce. Throw a paper towel in there, soak up as much of the fluid, do it and repeat, um, and then just top it off with new fluid. You can also use a turkey baster to uh, suck out the old fluid. At this point, there really isn't much in there. Once you've got as much of it out as you can, um, you're going to top it off with fresh new fluid and then when you bleed the clutch, all the gunk should flow through first. Uh, so that's your new fluid. Um, you want to make sure not to get any of it on your paint because this stuff will eat paint. Um, but yeah, you want to fill it up a little bit more than the fill line uh, because when you bleed it, you're going to lose some of that fluid. So a useful tool for uh, bleeding your hydraulic systems, be it brake or clutch, is going to be something like this. It's a hose going into a bottle. Uh, you've got fluid in the bottom um, and uh, the tip of the hose is submerged. This end uh, goes onto your bleeder screw and basically that's the one with the little rubber cover on it. You're going to take that off, you're going to loosen the screw so that it's open and then you're going to have somebody push in the clutch. It's going to push fluid out of that hole um, into the bucket and then uh, you're going to close the screw and then uh, let's push some air out of it and then you're going to repeat it's going to push air air is going to come through the line into there close the valve so it can't go back new air through the line and then just make sure that the clutch reservoir stays filled up and um, then once there's no air bubbles coming out of there anymore your clutch is bled and it should work perfectly fine all right, so got it all bled. An issue I had was that this part right there, that upper screw thing was loose, so that does need to be tightened down, as well as um, that bottom one. After that, I mean, I've just it's all wet because I just hit it with some brake cleaner, but you just want to make sure there are no leaks at any of the connections. But uh, pretty much that is your uh, your clutch line replaced. All right, push it and release and push 
release and push release all right we're good so now uh, you just put the wheel back on um, put everything down on the ground make sure your clutch fluid is topped off and uh, then just take it for a drive and make sure that the clutch is working correctly if it's not um, check to see if you have any leaks at your two connections if there are no leaks then you probably have air in the system and you need to bleed it um, other than that that's pretty much uh, that's it So this has been how to uh, install a stainless steel uh, braided clutch line on a 2001 Mazda Miata.